Hello, this is another tutorial on uh, for the Physics Collision Sound plugin. I'm gonna show you how to add sound to a ragdoll, like this one. It has like a hitting sound and a sliding sound to it. Yeah, um, if we just push it around a bit. Yeah, it slides. So, how we're gonna do it is um, we pick a mannequin or a, a ragdoll of any kind. Doesn't matter what one, which one. Um, I picked this out of the uh, third person tutorial because it has already the uh, con constraints and the angles for the body parts in it. Uh, but if you use your own model, that's not a problem too. Um, the first thing you do is add the physics collision sound blueprint. Then choose a, choose the sounds. Of course, I checked for sounds beforehand so that it doesn't sound terrible. Uh, well, that's the far, that's the wrong one this one okay it should sound a more a little bit more bassy the cardboard thing is like um, the closest thing I could find uh, to a sliding sound of a human or cloth um, okay so you won't hear anything now yet what we need to do is uh, we need to take simulate physics and simulation generates hit events but that's not enough we have to go into our mannequin oh i didn't reset this um the asset over here click on physics and then you have to click all the body parts you want uh, the slide or hit event to be generated from and tick hit event and check it See, it's checked in every spot. Every body part has it. So that every body part that hits something or slides uh, over the ground or something like that can generate the hit events for the blueprint. Yeah, yeah it's in everything. Uh, yeah, when you've set up the colliders um you should be able to whoops ah, maybe if i i can't pick him up that's weird and i'm okay <laughs> i just pick something else and push it around with it see maybe the sliding sound is not loud enough Let's see, maybe a little louder. Max volume and multiplier. Oops. Let's pick this one again. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah, the sliding sound is definitely there. Well, essentially that's how it works. We can make it a little bit louder so that you can hear it in the video. Maybe like this. Whoops. This won't work. Ah, okay, if it sounds a little bit off and the sliding sound doesn't come often enough you have to go into the blueprint and press is object cylindrical so that it has a higher tolerance for a sliding sound. Now it should work. 
Hey, let's, let's pick something small. Maybe this. Okay, it's too small. Okay, uh, that one. Yeah, it's really loud now. So you should set it like if you use the same sounds as I did to about. Uh, oh, no, 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 that's the wrong one. This one sounded better. To about 0 0.067 and uh, the max slide volume to 0.9, something like that. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need to do. Thank you for watching.